Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about a clip from the rapper T.I.'s podcast that I just randomly came across, and I was actually quite surprised to find that T.I. believes uh, a false teaching about Jesus, and also his guest Charlemagne, a pretty popular uh, guest on his show and, and also uh, in the internet sphere, uh, in, the, in, the, in the realm of uh, hip-hop culture, uh, and it just caught me off guard to see that this famous rapper actually believes something that is so disproven to be true about the person of Jesus Christ. So let's take a look at the clip and then we'll dive in kind of breaking it down. The myth of Jesus though, the story points have been duplicated throughout uh, uh, in different civilizations yes. in 1400s, 1500s. Like there are different, uh, I guess people uh, who were born, they say on uh, December 25th, uh, who were born immaculate conception to a virgin, uh, who who died on the cross and was resurrected on the third day. All of the different points of Jesus' story have they 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 they've been also associated with other people in history. What? <laughs> In the late 19th and early 20th century, a movement arose within the realm of scholarship trying to portray Jesus as a copycat of pagan myths that supposedly describe dying and rising gods like Osiris and Adonis and others. Scholars at that time wanted to explain away the resurrection of Jesus by trying to say that it was influenced by these ancient pagan myths. However, not longer after the movement arose, it then fell apart within the realm of scholarship. Apparently T.I. and Charlemagne have no idea that the Jesus is a copycat concept has not had any scholarly affirmation in the past 100 years. This is a prime example of how modern YouTube videos made by atheist trolls and such can actually cause people to believe one of the most unreputable views of Jesus in history. The copycat Jesus movement eventually fell apart because the parallels were shown to be spurious due to the fact that the dying and rising gods were merely symbols of the seasonal cycles that ancient peoples experienced from summer to fall and so forth. In fact, these gods were not dying and rising at all when you examine them closely. What became clear is that skeptical scholars, in an attempt to further discredit Jesus, looked throughout ancient mythology to find bits and pieces of other pagan gods that they could cherry pick and put together to try and convince people that the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus was not a unique concept. One of the final nails in the coffin of this copycat Jesus theory was also the inability to show causal connection between the pagan myths and the early disciples who were in fact devout Jews. And if you know anything about the Judaism of Jesus' time, you would also know that the disciples were part of a culture that uh, strongly rejected pagan myths with great zeal. The disciples themselves are shown time and time again throughout the gospel records to distance themselves from Gentile culture. This is demonstrated in instances such as the Apostle Peter's shock when asked to visit the Gentile household of Cornelius in Acts chapter 10. There are also other passages in which Paul had to undergo a transformation to do the same. Sadly, the copycat Jesus theory has actually made a comeback in the modern age of technology, albeit not within the realm of scholarship, but rather within the realm of culture uh, and online disinformation. It is this pervasive culture of disinformation that has led to social figures such as T.I. and Charlemagne to either knowingly or unknowingly propagate such a spurious view on the person of Jesus Christ. In reality, the person of Jesus Christ and the events surrounding his ministry are some of the most scrutinized and historically verified events in all of human scholarship. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.